Hey guys, in this video, we talk about what are you supposed to do when there's nothing in the charts telling you to buy when there's also nothing from the fundamentals telling you to buy as well. Meaning, there's no buy signal at all. What should you do? What should you do with your cash? How should you make a battle plan for you to win? Check this video out. Hey guys, this is Marvin Germo. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and smash the bell so you get updated every time I create new content about the stock market. Expect daily videos all towards gearing you and giving you the right foundation on how you can win in the markets. Hey guys, so this is another subset of what's happening in the markets. Please do note that uh, the market over the past few months and if you stretch it longer has been uh, pretty much sideways. No? So why am I saying this and what's the whole narrative of this? As you all know, our style, and I've been saying this over and over, our style is just to use technical analysis for you to be able to trade and for you to be able to buy and sell stocks as well. Or you can use fundamentals when uh, stocks hit particular valuation levels. You can start coming in to start to buy and sell the stocks that you would want as well. But what should you do if while you are waiting for signals to happen, uh, there's no signal from the stocks that you want to buy. Meaning, apart from your watch list, there are stocks that haven't hit, it, haven't hit the support yet, or there are stocks also that at a certain point have not also reversed yet. Please remember, there's still no shorting uh, in Philippine markets. That means that you can't make money uh, when the market is not going anywhere. You only make money when the market is going up or bouncing as well, since we don't have shorting yet. So how do you, what are you supposed to do while it hasn't really hit your buy signals or what if it hasn't really hit uh, those signals as well so first things first is this uh, and I've been hammering this over the past videos I've been hammering this for so many times that for you to be able to win it's really all about patience you need to be patient in what you do because without without patience uh, you will just make irrational decisions you will make decisions out of emotion and the reason why we talk about technicals and fundamentals a lot is primarily because uh, it removes the emotions out of it. You have a set criteria that will cause you to buy that you won't do anything if those criteria are not hit or are not met as well. So why am I why am I saying this and why is this uh, significant to all of you? Uh, while waiting for certain stocks to hit their support levels, while waiting for certain stocks to start to reverse, uh, the key is just to be patient, to not do anything. The strength of trading is to not do anything until. Uh, your signals tell you to do something. The strength of trading is to not to do anything until the signals get hit. Please remember, people are saying, "Pan in margin." Eh, two months without buy buying signal, I don't, I don't. That does, that does, does, does that mean that I don't do anything? Of course, you don't do anything. However, the thing that I'd like to share also is this. Please note that uh, if nagiinip kayo and then four months na nothing is happening, three months na two months na nothing is happening, it probably means a couple of things. Number one, maybe your timeline does not fit. Uh, the trades that you want to do. So my suggestion is this, if that's happening, what you can possibly do is make your support and resistance uh, shorter, meaning the range of where the support and resistance is built uh, should be shorter than what you uh, at least want it to be because most of the times people have a hard time uh, with it. They're not carrying something away, like, guys. Try to carry something. Okay, so most of the times people have a hard time uh, trading because uh, the stocks don't hit the level of support that they wanted and then when it goes up also it does not hit the resistance and it starts to go down that means also there's a mismatch on how you draw it now here's the thing if the stocks does not hit the support that you want or it does not hit the resistance that you want it means the distance between support and resistance is very very long it's very very far apart so what do you do you tweak you adjust it as you start tweaking and adjusting it the distance becomes shorter as the distance becomes shorter, the time it takes before it hits the support and hits the resistance becomes smaller. However, I've been saying this over and over, the, the larger the distance from each other, uh, yung kapalit nun, the longer time that you will get. But if you make the time shorter naman, yung kapalit nun is the gains will be smaller. So if you want to get smaller gains, guess what? If you want, if you want to trade quicker durations and quicker response times that it hits the support and it starts to bounce, uh, basically, your gains will be will, your gains will be smaller. So please remember this rule of thumb: the smaller the distance, the smaller the gain. But and also you must watch it regularly, and you must also react. Uh, I, I guess faster, quicker on the way you would 
on the way you do it and the way you would move your trades as well. So uh, that's one thing. So key thing I want you to exercise is number one, discipline. The discipline that you're not supposed to do anything until the buy signals have been met. However, aside from being disciplined when the buy signals are, are not met, uh, the second thing you need to know is that you need to make sure that it's something that fits your timeline. It's something that fits the horizon also that uh, you want to make the trade. Because if it does not fit the horizon that you want to make the trade with, sayang, sayang din naman. So for others that are saying, what if mahaba talaga yung horizon ko and then the distance from my support and resistance is very, very far. Or if I'm, at the end of the day, an investor, meaning I, I want to buy them when it's really, 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 really cheap. So guys, ang ingay na doon sa ano. I don't know if you get the audio of this clearly, no? So, I'm just gonna blab first until we pass this maingay na part. So that's the problem when I'm using this camera, no? This camera is, is generally, the mic isn't as good as my other one, but this is smaller and I can bring it anywhere. So I can make a lot of the walking vlogs uh, like this. But anyways, uh, so the question was, what if you, you're, you're this you are an investor and since you are an investor uh, your key narrative is to buy when it's when it when it's cheap the key narrative to buy is when valuations are dictated uh what what you need to do is you need to exercise patience what you need to do is while it hasn't really hit your signals to buy one of the things that you need to do is to keep on up again cash uh, meaning, just keep on storing that cash until it happens. Just keep on storing, keep on storing, keep on storing until, for those who are using valuation ratios, suddenly it starts to become, suddenly it starts to become super ready. Dami <laughs> Whoa. Lot of road rage happening here in Manila, sobra. Uh, I'm, I'm in BGC na nga. BGC is supposed to be, I guess, more uh, somehow, somehow, Somehow less insane in terms of driving, but there's still a lot of people who are <laughs> medyo galit. Daming galit mag-drive sa, sa Manila. I really don't understand it. But anyways, uh, so if you are an investor, wait for the valuations to get hit. Wait for wait for those ratios that you're looking at, whether it's PE, PV, or whether it's something that you computed. If it hits the margin of safety that you want, then you start to come that's when you start to come in but if it hasn't get if it's not yet hit what are you supposed to do keep on adding keep on adding keep on stockpiling that cash because as you start stockpiling that cash uh, you know what it does to you it it gives you the ability that once something starts to get cheap again you have a large amount of money that you can start to put in because please remember this when it comes to stock investing it's all about volume it's all about how large the amount of money that you can put on a certain stock as well and that happens also when you have this amount stored up already for you so that's what i suggest you no know? while the market is not going anywhere also and you are an investor please note this that good stocks will always go up good stocks because the fundamentals are there because the growth is there because the promise of good dividends is there there will come a point in time when all of the negative news is out there will come a point in time when all of the all of all of the things that are causing people to be away for, at this point in time is gone suddenly people will start coming in when people start coming in you see an expectation that the stock will go up again so one thing that you can do is if you are an investor when the market is not going anywhere and you believe that because the fundamentals is so good that somehow some way at some point in the future the stock is about to go up you can use portions like this to accumulate and start building a solid base the same is true for a lot of stocks that have dropped massively are oversold have stopped dropping but they're not just going up please remember iba yung binibili mo yung stock na bumabagsak pa siya even if you're an investor my suggestion is to wait even if you're an investor my suggestion is to wait for it first until you see it stop falling down iba yung bumabagsak yung stock eh. please avoid the stock while it's still falling i repeat please avoid the stock while it's still falling but when it has fallen it's still bearish but it really hasn't it stopped dropping already but it hasn't just reversed yet upward that could be an area for you to come in that could be an area for you to start buying again and that's my suggestion so why am i saying this a lot of people naiinip 
while the market is not going up, please remember it has to go back to your battle plan. Please remember it has to go back to the way uh, you want to do it. You're a trader. There's so many opportunities uh, on how you can win in the market even if the market is not going anywhere because we are not investing in the market. We are investing in specific stocks and there will be specific stocks still that are going beyond the trend, that are not going anywhere, that there are some stocks that are pushing up that there are certain stocks that are oversold that you can make a quick trade based on it being oversold as well so you just first thing that you need to know also that's very very important above all of these things is you need to define uh, what your what your strategy will be are you in it to trade are you in it to be an investor are you in it to be a quick trader are you in it to be a position trader because for me uh, that's the most important thing in all of this it doesn't matter uh, it doesn't matter what your what stock you buy what matters is the parameters and the conditions that will cause you to buy the stock please remember this there's no such thing as the best stock there's no such thing as a stock that will be amazing for five ten years but what's important is what are the conditions that are causing you to buy the stock at this point in time what are the conditions that will cause you to buy the stock for you to be able to win so i guess that's it uh, just a couple of principles me sharing on the road and i'm gonna do more of this uh, if you like this as well where i share some random thoughts this is not scripted this is not something that i planned but this is just something that i do uh just to uh while i'm walking i, I don't even know this but I, I walk a lot i don't really uh, drive a lot anymore so uh, since i since i walk a lot there will be opportunities like this that a random thought comes to my head and i get to share if this is something that adds value to you comment below if this is something if this is something also that you like this format is also something that you like comment below if you have some questions that you would like me to answer also while i'm walking around comment below as well and i'll try to make as much uh, videos like this to all of you because again at the end of the day uh, the reason why I make this YouTube videos the reason why I, this channel exists is just to give as much value to you guys as possible so I guess that's it for now uh, please subscribe and I hope that you can be part of all of the videos that I make and all of the seminars that we have and this is Marvin Germo from Bonifacio Global City I hope this video helps you trade well trade strong play smart see you all again soon guys and God bless you all